Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel filter on your riding mower. This particular mower is a Cub Cadet RZT, residential zero turn, but the same concept applies to pretty much every mower manufactured. You simply remove the filter and replace the filter, but I'm going to show you some tips to prevent making a huge mess while doing so. The last step of engine maintenance is to replace the fuel filter. Here's the model number that came with the engine maintenance kit. And you can see it goes just like this. Uh, it matches the other one, but the other one uh, is very dark and dirty from deposits built up from the contaminants in the fuel. So you can tell it's definitely time to change it. We'll go through steps for how to get this done in the most efficient and clean way. I'm going to try to maintain visibility for you as much as possible, but I'm going to take a a shop rag and wrap it around one end of the hose and I'm going to use some vice grips to clamp down on the hose to cut off the flow of fuel. That'll make it a little less messy and the purpose of the rag is so that I don't crimp the hoses and cause any damage. But I got that one clamped off, clamped off. and then I have another rag for the other side. And I'm going to leave the excess of the rag hanging down on this side to catch any fuel that spills once the hoses have been removed from the filter. So both hoses are clamped now and you can see that I have two little clips, one on each side. So I'll remove the clips by, they're just pinch clips, so I use my needle nose pliers. Just squeeze them together and work the clamp, squeeze them together and work the clamp back away from the filter. And I got that one off and I'll do the same thing on this other side. Hopefully my fuel lines are still in good shape so I don't have to replace them but if you do happen to have cracked fuel lines you'll definitely notice when you start removing these because it'll likely break off and you can get new fuel lines from any auto parts store so it's not a big deal you can order them online directly from the mower um, website or you can get them from like i said an auto parts store now the fuel line the fuel filter simply wiggles out of the line you see it's starting to come off now so i'm just wiggling them back and forth and it should continue to come if you can somehow prop the fuel line up, even though it's clamped, it'll still have a little bit of fuel coming through, and that'll prevent it from backflowing or spilling out all over the place. And your fuel filter itself will have fuel in it as well. So go ahead and remove it and put it somewhere away from flammable material. And you can look at mine and see that there are contaminants all throughout it, so it definitely was time to change. So we'll get the new one installed. You need to remember the orientation of the fuel filter. So now my so now I'll replace the fuel filter and the narrow end went this way. So it should snap right in. And the flat end went on the end going towards the motor. So now that I have that back in place, I can take my pliers. And move my clamps back to their previous location. Unclamp the vice grips. Use my rags to clean off any spilled fuel to prevent any kind of fire. Um, since this is close to the battery, sometimes you'll have some sparking and you definitely don't want it to spark. And the new fuel filter is in place and I need to loop my fuel line back in here to keep it off the muffler. And we are good to go. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave any questions you might have in the comments section below. You'll see a couple of videos pop up on the screen. Click either one of them to see more on this series of lawnmower maintenance. Hope you guys have a great day.